Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, today chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Qutaybiyah Palace. The cabinet commended the outcomes of the meeting between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces. The cabinet added that His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed's visit to the kingdom reflects the strength of the joint strategic vision towards furthering bilateral cooperation and coordination across various areas. In recognition of International Youth Day, the Cabinet emphasized the importance of providing quality job opportunities to Bahrain's youth to ensure their active participation in the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty the King. In this regard, the Cabinet highlighted the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, in adopting youth-led initiatives that support innovation and contribute to the Kingdom's development. The Cabinet highlighted the importance of following precautionary measures to support national COVID-19 efforts and to safeguard public health. The Cabinet followed the developments unfolding in Afghanistan, stressing the importance of achieving security and stability. In line with the Kingdom of Bahrain's presidency of the current GCC session, the Cabinet directed the Minister of Foreign Affairs to coordinate and consult with other GCC countries regarding the developments. The Cabinet discussed several memorandums during the meeting with the following outcomes. The approval of the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Civil Service Council regarding the restructuring of government agencies to increase efficiency and improve performance. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between the Ministry of Health and the Saudi Food and Drug Authority, which aims to enhance cooperation in improving local and regional national and health conditions. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance on the Consolidated Annual Outcomes, Accounts and the Performance Report on the Implementation of the State Budget for the Fiscal Year 2020. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance on the results of the semi-annual financial report for ministries and government agencies for the period ending the 30th of June 2021, which showed an increase in revenues by 23% compared to the same period in the fiscal year 2020. 20, driven by an increase in the oil revenues by 33%, in addition to an increase in non-oil revenues by 4%. Total expenditures decreased by 4%, which includes a decrease in recurring expenses by 2%. This led to a decrease in the total deficit by 35% compared to the same period of last year. A memorandum by the Minister of Health regarding the results of evaluation and accreditation of hospitals in the Kingdom of Bahrain during the second phase extending from January 2019 to June 2020, which aims to ensure compliance with the approved regulations and standards for services provided to patients. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's responses to two proposals and a law proposal submitted by the Council of Representatives and two law proposals submitted by the Shura Council. The Cabinet also reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications on the progress of the Ministry's priorities for the years 2020 to 21. Reports on the outcomes of the Kingdom of Bahrain's participation in the 30 Second Olympic Games Tokyo Olympics 2020 and the achievements of the national basketball team for the title of the 16th Gulf Championship for junior teams hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and, Pri and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the flag officer commanding a Western Fleet of the Indian Navy Rear Admiral Ajay Kuchar at Qutabiya Palace. The meeting took place as part of the Indian destroyer INS Kuchi's visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's commitment to strengthening long-standing bilateral ties with India. Several topics of common interest were also discussed. The Minister of Finance and National Economy 
الشيخ سلمان بن خليفة آل خليفة and PDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr al Naimi were also in attendance. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued a circular on the occasion of the Ashura holiday. Following the circular, government agencies, departments and public institutions will be closed on Wednesday and Thursday, 18th and 19th of August 2021. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Hassan Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the outgoing Omani ambassador to the kingdom, Abdullah bin Rashid Al Medelwi, in the presence of the Foreign Affairs Ministry's Under Secretary for Political Affairs, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the meeting, His Highness affirmed the depth of bilateral relations and their continuous development in all fields in light of the wise directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty Sultan. Haytham bin Tariq al Said of Oman. His Highness praised the extensive efforts of the outgoing ambassador, wishing him further success and progress in performing his upcoming duties. For his part, Ambassador al Medelwi expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his keenness on bolstering Bahraini Omani relations, noting the support he has received in the kingdom, which facilitated his diplomatic efforts to further strengthen bilateral relations. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today the World Health Organization WHO representative and head of office in Bahrain, Dr. Tasneem Atatara. His Highness expressed his appreciation of the extensive efforts exerted by the WHO at all levels to mitigate the virus. He congratulated her on her appointment, wishing her further success and progress. For her part, Dr. Atatara expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness for his reception, affirming her keenness on promoting the kingdom's advanced efforts and Combating the coronavirus, which she said constitutes a model to be emulated globally. She wished the kingdom for their progress and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also received the Kingdom's Ambassador to the Republic of Indonesia, Ahmed Abdullah Al Hermisi. His Highness noted the role of ambassadors in bolstering relations with friendly countries as well as cooperation and coordination to reinforce the role of the Kingdom at both regional and international levels in line with the directives of His Majesty the King. His Highness wished the ambassador success in carrying out his diplomatic mission and in promoting the development of bilateral relations at all levels. For his part, Ambassador Al Hermesi affirmed his keenness on sparing no effort to bolster cooperation and coordination with Indonesia, expressing his thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his support. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today the Ambassador of Bangladesh to Bahrain, Dr. Muhammad Mundar Islam. His Highness welcomed the Ambassador, praising the continuous development of the friendly relations between Bahrain and Bangladesh, affirming the importance of further bolstering them for the benefit of both countries and their people. For his part, Ambassador Islam praised the keenness of Sheikh Nasser on further developing friendly relations, expressing pride and appreciation for the deep rooted bilateral relations, emphasizing keenness on further developing them to meet common interests. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zahani Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Vice President of the Committee and the Head of the Bahrain Delegation to the Olympics, Zahani Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, along with the Deputy Head of the Delegation, Mohammed Nusuf, and the Silver Medal winning runner, Kalkidan Gizagin. Zahani Sheikh Khalid's reception of the guests marked the winning of the runners, winning of the Silver Medal in Tokyo 2020, which was also attended by the Vice President of the General Sports Authority, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the CEO of the Authority, Dr. Abd Rahman Sadiq, and the President of the Bahrain Gymnastics Association, Mohammed Abd al -Latif. His Highness Sheikh Khalid conveyed the greetings and congratulations of His Majesty the King on the occasion of this achievement and added that it is the result of His Majesty's keen interest in supporting national sports along with that of his royal 
Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He also credited the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work in youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who contributed in developing national sports on all levels. He affirmed the continued support for gymnastics in preparation for Paris 2024 and praised the efforts of Mohammed Abdul Latif in developing this sport. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali affirmed that the runner's achievement reflects His Majesty's support for the sports sector, along with that of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Nasser, and His Highness Sheikh Khalid. The National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus announced the decision to move to the orange alert level during the Ashura holiday, which falls on the 18th and 19th of August. The decision was made in line with the previous announcement that some dates may be designated at higher alert levels if deemed necessary to protect public health. The yellow alert level will be readopted on Friday, the 20th of August, and will remain the lowest alert level able to be reached until at least 80% of the individuals aged 40 who are eligible four booster shots have received the dose. The task force stressed the importance of adhering to the measures and procedures within the orange alert level, which were previously announced in accordance with the COVID-19 alert level traffic light system. Marking 45 years of bilateral relations, Bahrain and Korea share a deep history of long-standing ties and strong cooperation in many fields. The ambassador of the Republic of Korea to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Hei Kwan Chung, further elaborates in this interview. Uh, this year marks the uh, 45th anniversary of our uh, diplomatic ties. And since uh, 1976, uh, we have uh, maintained very strong and very firm mutually beneficial relationships. Uh, we, our both countries, Bahrain and Korea, has played a significant role to each other, representing each region. To Korea, Bahrain has been a long-standing gateway to the Middle East region. Uh, one significant factor is uh, that Korean airs, the first direct flight to the Middle East region is uh, to Bahrain. So uh, in 1970s and 80s, most of the Korean people who came to the Middle East region to work, they first came to Bahrain and then introduced to the region and they went to their uh, final destination. Even when they went back to Korea, they took the same route. They came to Bahrain and then they bought some presents for families and then took some rest and they went back to Korea. So we have very good memories of the cooperation and personal exchanges between Korea and Bahrain. As the time goes by, the weight has shifted a little bit to the other centers, but uh, Korea and Bahrain still very solid and mutually beneficial relationships so far. And uh, I'm, I would like to want, uh, mention one more thing, is uh, many Korean companies and Korean people who came to Bahrain and participated in the uh, many uh, Bahraini important projects like energy sectors and infrastructure sectors, like for example, like a Baco project, and also like ASRI, the ship maintenance yard, and also national theater, national like museum, and, and so on. So, and uh, recently we are moving to the other areas, expanding our cooperation to the other areas like uh, health, culture environment, IT areas. And uh, like, uh, I, I believe our long-standing and prospering relations, relationship will continue. 
The Kingdom of Bahrain enjoys deep-rooted relations with the Republic of India, which hit its 50 years mark this year. The Indian naval ship INS Kuchi made a port of call at Mina Salman port yesterday, commemorating the joint relations and celebrating the 75th Independence Day of India. To talk more about this, we are pleased to be joined on the phone by the Indian Ambassador to Bahrain, Mr. Piyush Sirvastava. Hello, Your Excellency. It's good to have you here with us tonight. Can you tell us about the significance of INS Kuchi in marking the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and India. Thank you. Uh, thanks for having me at your show. Uh, good evening to all of you. I am glad that Indian naval ship Kochi is visiting Bahrain as part of our celebrations to mark golden jubilee of establishment of diplomatic relations between our two countries. It's in fact a matter of great pride and joy that INS Kochi arrived at Mina Salman port on 15th August, the day on which we are celebrating the 75th Independence Day of India. As uh, you may be aware, our two countries have deep-rooted historical ties underpinned by trade, cultural and people-to-people -people contacts over centuries. Our bilateral relations have recently grown and diversified and now cover all areas of political, security, economic, trade, cultural, and educational cooperation. Uh, it is actually in this framework of our multifaceted and growing cooperation that Indian naval ships have been frequently visiting Manama. In fact, this is the second visit of INS Kochi to the kingdom. INS Kochi is currently operating in the Arabian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman to ensure safe seas and support the safe transit of Indian flag merchant ships through the Gulf region. It has made port calls at UAE and Saudi Arabia before coming to Bahrain. The ship visit highlights the Government of India's commitment to build cooperative partnerships with friendly nations in the Indian Ocean region to develop solutions to meet maritime challenges. I am confident that the visit will not only lead to better understanding and collaboration between our navies, but also deepen our bilateral cooperation, particularly in the maritime domain. Thank you. Yes, indeed, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. And that was the Indian Ambassador to Bahrain, Mr. Piyush Sirvastava. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,126,331 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,071,350 had taken the second, and 227,279 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 1,113 with 123 recoveries and 103 registered new cases. 36 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 56 are contacts of active cases and 11 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.